YouTube, what is up and welcome back to another video. This is the new studio for right now. I'm kind of finished the wall. Wow. If you guys have been watching my previous videos, I had some wallpaper with some childhood photos. It was just nonsense, but now it is kind of set up how I think I like it. Let me know how you guys like it. I think it's very modern. That's what I'm going for. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about what I invested in the month of February because all of these products I think are really, really great products and I would love to hear your comments on these products. Are you guys picking up these products? Have you guys seen these products? And let me know what you guys think about them and how you think about this video. If you're interested in more Pokemon content such as this, subscribe, leave a like, and let's get on to the video. So the first thing in today's video is this collection box. I haven't seen this much and I've seen this in the last month and I'm like, okay, I need to have this box when I have the opportunity to buy it. And I had the opportunity to buy it, and it is this Lucario and Tyranitar box. I absolutely love this box for many reasons. The main reason why I like this box, and it's something I preach on the channel, is because what is in it? What value does it have? This box has Astro Radiance, it has Fusion Strike, Lost Origins, Silver Tempest, Brilliant Stars. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! There is no Evolving Skies, which is kind of a bummer, but there's 14 packs in this one box and I bought it for under what the market is selling it for. Right now, it is around $85 in Canadian prices and I bought it for $60. So I look at it as it's basically the same price as like an ETB, an Astro Radiance, Fusion Strike, Lost Origin, Silver Tempest, ETB. And I'm getting 14 packs and I'm getting a variety of packs. And it has Brilliant Stars, which I think is a really, really strong set for the future. The main reason why I like this box is obviously because of the packs. I don't really care about the promo cards. I don't even think they're actual promo cards. I just think they're cards in a set. Could be wrong. I think all of these sets in this box are top sets in Sword and Shield. I think alternate arts will drive the price of Sword and Shield. I don't really see any other chase cards other than alternate arts in Sword and Shield era. This is why I like this box. I wish I had some Evolving Skies because that would be chef's kiss. <clears throat> I'm a still big believer in Silver Tempest. It has like six packs of Silver Tempest. It has a lot of Astro Radiance. It has a lot of Lost Origin. Only one Fusion Strike, but long term, I think this box will get expensive. I've seen some collection boxes that are just crazy, and Costco always has the good deals, always. And because this box has so many good packs in it and a large variety of it, I love this box for the future. If I can get it for $60 and even cheaper, I'm taking them all day. Next box in today's video is this Zapdos EX collection box. And the reason why I like this is because I've talked about Pokemon 151 in so many videos. In my last video, I said this is a really, really great set to buy and why. So watch that video if you haven't seen that video yet. But I love 151. Is it the best deal out right now? No. But when I find product, sealed product under MSRP, picking it up every single time I see it on my phone. Every single time I see the deal, I'm picking it up because I love Pokemon 151. I don't think it's gonna be the best set. A lot of people say that in my comments and I don't think it is. I think the best sets of Scarlet and Violet we haven't seen yet, right? So I don't wanna say Pokemon 151 is the best set in Scarlet and Violet yet, even though it is a great set. If I could pick up 151 for under MSRP, I'm taking it every single time I see it. The reason why I just had to be very aggressive with this purchase is just because I haven't really seen much of 151 one on sale. I haven't. There's a lot of demand for it and I like that because I think down the road there is going to continue to be a lot of demand for it. So I don't really care how much is printed just because other sets in the past have been printed into the ground and they did well. I think 151 will get printed into the ground as well but for right now I haven't really seen much of this product especially under MSRP picking it up all day. Okay, so the next item in today's video is Disney Lorcana, if I said that right. What? I know this is a Pokemon channel and most of you are here to see Pokemon, but I think Disney Lorcana, whatever, however you pronounce it, I think is a really, really strong buy. If it's first edition and it does really well 10 years, 15 years down the road, it's going to be very expensive. You must have a goddamn IQ of 160. 
So this is why I'm investing in some Disney Lorcana products, sealed products, I'm not really opening much of it, but I really, really like this opportunity here. And I just wanna kind of present some of it on my channel just because I'm a big believer in it. I'm picking up booster boxes when they are cheaper because I do think they will become cheaper. But I like the pull rates in Disney cards and I think it has a lot of nostalgia to it. I, there's so many cards that I love, like some Stitch cards absolutely love those cards and I really want those in my collection even though I don't have them yet but any sealed product I see that's a steel deal I am going to pick it up every time I see it so I just want to talk about that briefly and let me know in the comments how you guys like Disney cards I know it's not a big thing yet but I think there's a good opportunity for it okay so the second last item in today's video is this Pikachu VMAX from VMAX Climax. I absolutely love this card. This is probably my chase card out of VMAX Climax. I just love this card for so many reasons. On the Japanese market, Pikachu is huge. <sighs> On the English market, Pikachu is huge. What do you mean by that? Unfortunately, VMAX Climax is just going lower and lower. They are dirt cheap. So is V-Star Universe, blah, blah, blah. Probably because there's a lot of PSA 10s out there. So there's a lot of product out there. So I say never buy cards when they come out. Reasons like this. This card, I got it for $90. $90 this card is. And even in Lost Origin, this exact same card, it's still very cheap. I believe it's like the same price in English, which is just crazy to me. As a collector, it's very good because it's something that I really wanted to have in my collection. It's fairly cheap it's only $90 and it's something that I just love for a long time and I'd rather have it in Japanese and English just because if you've been following the channel for a while you know I'm more a Japanese collector than an English collector so I just had to pick up this card when I had the opportunity to do so Whew, okay the last item in today's video is probably as of right now the best or my favorite thing in my personal collection it is the sequential evolution line, the final line of Pokemon 151. The first evolution, I guess, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. I really hope that made sense. Because I know I'm gonna get some heat in the comments, but you know what I'm talking about. The Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise in sequential PSA 10 copies. I think it's so unique to have the Venusaur, the Charizard, and the Blastoid in sequential numbers. Cause it's one thing to have them in a PSA 10 and order them on like your display, but it's another thing to have them in PSA 10s in sequential numbers. Okay. I think it's really unique. It adds some type of rarity in my opinion. Like if I had to sell these three, I would only sell them together and I would want a higher premium just because they're sequential numbers. Yes, I would have to find the right buyer. Yes, most people are not gonna care that they're sequential numbers. Some people are just gonna want the Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise. But I just thought this was a rare opportunity to get three popular Pokemon in a phenomenal set in sequential numbers. And I think down the road, I think someone would pay a higher premium to have this in their collection. So let me know your comments on that because I'd be interested if you guys would want that or not. With Japanese cards, the only thing I don't like about this kind of investment is that Japanese cards are very, very easy to grade. So could this happen again? 110% it probably is already out there, but I haven't seen it. It's just something that I wanted to have in my collection. It's something that unique to have in your collection. It's just something different from others, honestly. And I think if Pokemon 151 does do well on the Japanese side or English, I think these cards, they will go up in value even though they will probably go down because the hype will eventually go away from Pokemon 151. Daddy chill. But this is a great investment in my opinion. It's not gonna make me rich. It's not gonna make me go buy a Lamborghini. But yeah, that is what I invested in the month of February. It was very expensive. So all of that being said, I spent around over $1,000 in one month on Pokemon cards. And for me, at least, that is a big bill to pay, but it is what it is. I love the hobby. I'm sure all of you, if you're watching this video, you love the hobby as well. If you guys want to see more things that I invested throughout the month, throughout the year, whatever it is, I have an idea actually in mind to make a new collection video. So if you guys want to see what's in my collection, if you guys want to see more videos like what I invested throughout the month, let me know because I would be happy to show off what I buy just because I think, at least for me, I buy good items for the future. I buy a lot of sealed products 
and I buy a lot of slabs. I'm a big believer in slabs and sealed products. Who knows, buy what you want to buy. Obviously, I buy what I want to buy. I don't let anyone tell me what's a bad choice, what is a good choice. I just buy what I like to have in my collection, what I think is going to do well in the future. So let me know what you like about today's video. What are you guys buying? So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Deuces!